I'm Kelly the Investigator Pillar, and this is my Llamas with Hats Stabbing Report. There's a big hubbub going on these days on YouTube regarding llamas with hats and how many times the murder llama stabbed the human man. If you listen closely, you can hear the sinful llama say the number of times out loud, admitting his crime. I, uh, I stabbed him 37 times in the chest. He says this on camera. However, there is possibly some deception at play. As mentioned by thousands of shrewd YouTube commentators, although the godforsaken llama claims to have committed 37 different stabs, the human man only appears to have 25 or so stab marks. How could this be. To get to the bottom of the matter, I purchased a sack of farm fresh organic purple potatoes and went to town on the sack, stabbing it again and again until I had committed the required 37 sins. To my complete astonishment, upon counting the stab marks, I discovered there were only 33 or so. What a nightmare. I purchased a second sack of farm fresh organic purple potatoes and committed the terrible crime again, only to end up with even less stab marks than before. This time, however, I was less squeamish and able to really focus on each dastardly thrust. What I discovered was, it's really hard after a dozen or so stabs not to stab in the same place you stabbed before. You could end up stabbing a stab hole two or three times and it ultimately just leaves one weird gash. I think this is what happened with that terrible llama, as I see no reason for him to lie about the specific number of sins he committed. Unless there's a darker significance to the number of stabs claimed, the 37th president of the United States was Richard Nixon, who was the first president to utilize the 25th Amendment. Coincidence? Is it a coincidence that Nixon himself himself stabbed a man to death in cold blood and got away with it? Is it a coincidence that Richard Nixon is an anagram for Dracula lives? That's all for today. I hope my investigator pilling provides some insight into this dark subject. Goodbye.